Hi, I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donsker. I'm Henry Larson. I'm Peter Torepko, and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are today. It's Group Tokyo's 1970 starting off, and we've got world number one, Novak Djokovic, taking on the little Argentinian who crept into the ATP Tour finals. It's Diego Schwartzman. JG, hyped for this one, as always. Mate, it's going to be really good to see how the other group get on. Obviously, Nadal started off yesterday and was was amazing. Let's see what Novak Djokovic can respond with today. Wow. Everyone's expecting Novak to go through and win. I'm going to be cheer- cheering on Diego today. <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping the little man has something special in his locker. Yeah, well, I'm hoping he's uh, <clears throat> he's made it here. Make it count. Yeah, you, there's no point being there unless you're going to uh, do something. So, well, w- what's he going to do? I think he's got to come out firing. He's got to go fast at Novak Djokovic. Hope Novak Djokovic is not uh, at the races in the first set and try and steal the first set. And that's what I think is going to be his uh, route to victory if there is one. Yeah, well, for me, if you're being completely honest, you look at the odds, you look at all the head-to-head, every kind of factor, and everything's weighed so heavy in Novak's favour. Yeah, um, it's probably the more, most lopsided uh, tie, which could, which is possible, I think, in this whole event. Yeah, I think um, I agree. You can't get like for me, it's just that's that is the most lopsided it gets. Novak Djokovic versus Diego Schwartzman, but Diego can do it. I really do believe it. And if you do remember, 
in uh, Vienna. Was it Vienna? Where where Lorenzo Sanego managed to beat Djokovic. Yes, it was. Yeah, I tipped. Well, well we thought Swartzman was going to be in that tournament. I tipped Swartzman uh, <laughs> to beat Djokovic in that round. We well, could have so, done. Um, if that, yeah. was, if that was the Djokovic that turned up, and if it's the Djokovic that turns up today, it could happen again. But we know this is a bigger occasion. Djokovic secured his position as world number one, uh, end in the year in 2020. So, uh, yeah, he's got that out of the way. Now, this is all for record books he's going for uh, in this tournament. He wants to level with Roger Federer and... Uh, yeah, he just wants to overtake him. That's the main thing. Roger Federer is injured. He's coming towards the end. Djokovic has got years left, and he's going to look to overtake the 20 uh, Grand Slam man, Roger Yeah, Federer. not just that. Ending this year on a high for him is just super important. He's had one of the years of his life, and uh, I think the match is starting. So before it does, let's quickly just go through some of the head-to-head -head stuff. Yeah, mate, put it up quickly. Oh, and here we go. So, if you were, should we have a quick look through the uh, their head to heads? Uh, we just had the first point there. Yeah, Ooh. it's all right, mate. We've got we've got a, we've got a second. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. But looking so, at head to heads, it's just not looking good. Any surface, Djokovic seems to be able to beat him. But one thing I can say, Swartzman recently managed to beat Nadal on clay, and if you can beat Nadal on clay, there's no reason why you can't beat Djokovic on hard. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if anything's possible... It's a this, feet, if not, maybe easier. It's just one of these years, isn't it, where anything can happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see more crazy things happen in 2020 before the tennis season's over. And, uh, yeah, Diego, if there's any man can do it, he can do it. He's a man who never gives up, does he, on the court? Yeah. And that's just that's what you need in this type of tournament. I mean... If you get wiped off the court a little bit like yesterday, Andre Rublev didn't really have any answers. I don't think anybody would have had any answers. But if the level drops, Diego's always going to be on the end of the ball. And uh, they keep it in play no matter what. So, well, yeah. No, that looks, like quite, it looks quite sharp already. Um, yeah. Started well. <laughs> <It's got 40 laughs> He's already threatening the game to love early on. And there you go. There's an ace down the tee for Novak Djokovic. There you go. Yes, that's, how, that's how we kick off. Have you got a beer in or no? No, it's a bit no, I'm on the water at the moment, mate. It's a bit oh, early. No. So I'm I've been drinking well. every day for the last few days. So I thought I'm going to have um, this afternoon off. I'll save yep. the beers for the evening session, I think. That's what I was thinking as well. But I never know. I might be tempted if this hots up. I can't help myself. <laughs> Good yeah, to have you. Thanks for having so many people joining yeah. us. We've got Almino who's come back. Nice uh, one. Ken Lee, he's saying uh, he's cheering on Diego today. Uh, Mary Sky saying no, Novak wants this now. In Vienna, he didn't. Well, it's just one of those things. Just one of those things uh, we'll find out. You can see right there, I was watching Djokovic uh, in his practice session the other day and he was looking yeah. pre pretty sharp and he was brushing up on a lot of the fundamentals. Uh, just always interesting seeing these top players warm up or, or practice and warm up as well and just seeing where they direct their focus to in their training. And uh, he was asking for a lot of uh, slice being hit towards him for some reason. But what, oh. like, There was nearly like about 20 minutes of slice backhands <laughs> being hit to him and he was just hammering the same return. It's just all about repetition. And uh, yeah, it was just he was looking... Really, uh, really good. But Arthur Ferry, yeah, I don't think he was there to try and uh, give him a match. I think he was just there to uh, warm him up a bit and uh, give him a help in practice. So can't really take too much from it, but it was good signs anyway. But Schwartzman here on his serve, can he get a game to love himself? Hey, this is one of the biggest asks yeah. ever for Diego. I think we're going to have a better... Standard of, uh, t I think obviously the standard of tennis yesterday didn't start the best. No. I mean, KG, you got to put a lot on the atmosphere, Ben. It's just not the same. You're watching this tournament, and it usually, it's known for just being so amazing. Yeah. So many flags, people cheering. Yeah. Uh, like a sort of a party kind of vibe for me. This is what I always look at, and it's just not that anymore, is it? Uh, no. Behind closed doors, you got the odd cameraman there, a few coaches. It's just very sad. And I think it's reflective on what we see on the court. Uh, the players aren't really raising their game because there's no one really getting behind them. 
Well, exactly. Uh, it's really tough to uh, motivate yourself when you're so used to uh, being motivated by the crowd. And uh, I think the person who did it best yesterday, Rafael Nadal, and you'd yeah. think uh, somebody who always gets uh, the crowd, well, the crowd gets him going, rather, is yeah. Rafael Nadal and didn't have that there. But he was playing some of the best tennis I've seen him play in a long time last night. And uh, especially on indoor hardcore, I don't think I've ever seen him quite wipe the floor with someone on indoor hard like that. Yeah, and no, it was really good. That's why I've, I've changed my opinion already. I think he's <laughs> going to go all the way and win it now, Nadal. Um, yeah, yeah. I just well, feel super confident about it. He was just so good yesterday. However, this man <laughs> yeah. is going to have something to say about it. Uh, for sure. We can't Both rule him out. Both of them will try, hopefully have something to say about it. Djokovic still struggling to find his range there. He's hit a few long forehands. But yeah. It's only early days. I mean, I think it's going to be like this a little bit for all of the players with the first uh, first few games of uh, every one of these matches, getting used to that setting, the atmosphere, how the no crowd. And I think, if anybody, I think these big the big guns are going to settle like the easiest. I think you're going to see yeah. Rafa, Djokovic. They're, they're probably, I don't think it affects them as much as it will the others. You saw Team and Sitapas, it really did affect their match. The Team Sitapas match was, wasn't very good at all. I didn't enjoy it. Um, the other one was much better. And even this one, I know it's just started. I think this has got a better feel to it already. Yeah, oh, definitely. I think but even that, we're seeing a little, we're seeing some intent there early on from Schwartzman. That's good. I really think good shot. Schwartzman's so consistent, though. Uh, it's almost like you expect him to get it in every time. Like every time the ball goes over the net for uh, Diego, I'm more, I'm more shocked if not if he doesn't get it back because he just gets everything back. Uh, yeah. You have to put him away and you have to hit winners against him. And Djokovic has to be on his A game today to take out Diego Schwartzman. That's for sure. Yeah, this is a really exciting uh, match. There's no pressure on Diego. Ooh, it's like he, can play, he can play his game. And here, dodgy he's double got a little, little opening, Ben. The window's yeah. open slightly. Love 30. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to go through the comments. Mary saying she's bought a bottle of wine for the season. That's nice. <laughs> what have you gone for? The red or wine? Red or white, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Which one uh, is Ken it? Lee saying, I don't drink, but I'll have a sorrel drink along with you guys. Nice. It's uh, good to know. It's good to know. We accept all... All drinkers and non-drinkers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a good... Uh, look, Diego with that uh, patented uh, putting Ooh. the ball up. I think that's a really good one Ooh. against Djokovic because you know he hates the smash. So keep lobbing it up. You notice he didn't go for that smash either. He just placed it back and hopes Mate, for... A... He could have done a lot better there. Yeah. And there you can see Diego's coach, also his dad. <laughs> that's his girlfriend as well. I think that that was who they were trying to get into focus then rather than uh, his coach. Yeah, so Diego, still a chance here. 15.30. Djokovic, she's trying to push him around the back of the court, but Diego so used to uh, getting given the run around and poor shot from Djokovic there, really, into the net. And two break points early here. And after a really comfortable first service game from Novak Djokovic, the second one has gone uh, all off the boil now, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, Two so, break points here early on. This is going to be big. Will, will Schwartzman have learnt something from that match in uh, in Rome as well? Just the sort of the mentality to try and beat someone like Djokovic as well. Out, second serve. Yeah, I like this. Uh, like you were saying yesterday, the... On the it's really board. good, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the way it tells you that's out. Oh, massive under it. <laughs> well, that looked nearly Ooh. out again. <laughs> that second serve, very lucky there. Oh, and that Ooh. one. Oh, wow, you got away with it. Swartzman's looking at the line, but it was certainly in. Yeah, you can't. Uh, can't go. A bit nervous those... though from Novak. He seems to have not picked himself up from the Sonego defeat so far. Yeah. I mean. It was a bit uh, close to the line for my liking, to be honest. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> he'd prefer to keep it slightly inside the baseline. That's pushing the uh, envelope a little bit. And uh, the second serve. And well, Mary's saying she's on red. Red all the way. <laughs> red all the way. It's the winter, the winter wine. <laughs> Saving the white for a meal, I think. Get a bit of mulled wine out. Why, why don't you? If, it, if the temperature drops. There we go. Diego with the second break point. Djokovic choosing to slice. Diego, the, oh, nice Ooh. angle there from Djokovic. Steps into the net. Diego attacks it, and it's too good. It's yeah. out. And it's out. Break. Diego breaks. Diego. 
and Come on, that's exactly what we needed today, I think, Ben. Uh, a nice start from Diego Schwartzman. It's exactly what blocks pass. I think it was just a poor approach shot from Djokovic there. I don't know why he would come in on such a bad shot. It was I think not. He was just trying to intimidate Diego. Maybe, maybe just seeing if he could putt. But you know, Diego doesn't really miss shots, does he? Doesn't he? he just yeah. gets everything back over the net, so he's going to be forced to play another shot. And uh, there you go. I wonder what would happen if Diego was to beat so, um, uh, Djokovic today. Yeah. Go top of the group, obviously, first first player to play in the group. His chances of then going through just changed dramatically, didn't they? Yeah, well, definitely. Uh, and then everything's in his own hands completely. Do you think that he has a better chance against Djokovic than he does against Medvedev and Zverev, maybe? <sighs> Just because of the big serves, I like I don't, I don't think you can say that. I just don't nah. think you can say it. I think it, I, I don't know. Maybe his best chance, maybe Sverev. I don't know. He Sverev walloped him recently yeah, in Cologne, though. And uh, Medvedev's a similar, similar uh, task, really. And but they're bringing Djokovic. up the stats there for Diego. He's won fourteen of his last eighteen matches, so it's been a season to remember for him. Yeah, definitely. Such a good uh, season for Diego. It's just what we wanted to see from him, to be honest. We know he has all the ability. Just want to just see him do it, and he's been doing it. It's fantastic. You've been singing his praises for, or oh, until the cows come home. And, yeah, uh, yeah it's finally uh, proven right. JG stuck by his man all this time. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the tour for a long time, Diego Schwartzman. Uh, yeah. He's finally now finding the form which I knew he was capable of finding. And for sure, this is the best he's ever played. He's had an amazing year. He's won so much, so many things, been to so many finals. What do you reckon uh, he's changed in his game? Win in as well. What do you reckon he's changed in his game that's helped him get to uh, that level uh, now? Well, for me, being a smaller guy, his serve's never been something which has been very prominent. However, saying that, he's improved it a lot. And uh, yeah. he's serving there 109 miles an hour, 110 at times better than what Rublev was yesterday. So you've got to you've got to give him a lot of credit for up up in that. Yeah. And then I think in general it's just everything his whole entire game. I love now uh his volleys at the net. He seems to be able to uh he's got brilliant hands. He judges the time the the weight of the ball perfectly all the time. Yeah. And Great against timing. these against these top players he sticks in it with he sticks in the rallies with them. At times it can be very long. We saw against uh, Dominic Team, <laughs> yeah. but then he wore him down. He wore Dominic Team down. Team, you could say, is a more powerful, better player, but Schwartzman stuck in every every rally with him and ended up coming up coming out victorious. So Good shot there by Djokovic really uh, shortened the rally there. That's I think he needs more of that. I think that's the key against Schwartzman. You can push him around the baseline, but I don't think that's enough. You need to. Uh, have a different in or a difference in your shot variety. He had to like he did there. Yeah. Hit it towards the service line, plays it long, push him in and out of the court as well. As instead of just side to side, he's so used to the side to side. Do that all day long. The thing is today though, Diego's not gonna be able to wear Djokovic down. That's the one player you can't do it against. So he's gonna have to think a bit outside the box. Um even now, it's a break up, but it's still looking. Oh, I just don't feel that confident that Diego's going to get all the way. I'm just going to back him now because I'd love well, you to know see that, something happen. Well, you know what it's like when, uh, even if you get an early break against Joe, sometimes the early break is the one you don't want <laughs> against Novak Djokovic. Yeah. You want that. Well, sometimes it's break. the worst thing you can get. Yeah, you want to get it later in the set just to break for the set, not break yeah, early. Yeah, that's, that's the best time. Break for the set and take the first set. It's like breaking Rafa early. You know that he's going to probably break you straight back again if you try and break him early. So, yeah, these big uh, these big three, they're very hard. And there you go, double fault oh, from Diego. And so he might be gifting it right back. And that's a double fault from each side now after yep. like a confident first service game, a shaky second. Uh, interesting, though. Interesting to see the way this is sort of panning out. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to go like this. A really fast start, and now like a little, have both having a little lull here in their second service game. Poor Ooh, return. It's a good one. Yeah, poor return. I don't know what he's shaking his head for there. He's like, <laughs> what, what's going on? He's doing that thing with his eyes again. <laughs> he had problems with his eyes, didn't he? He keeps on going like, Ugh, uh, shaking his head out. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. More uh, break points. This, it, this is it. Oh, I think that was a let, that one. I guess another first serve. Didn't seem like there was a lot of pace on that one either, that first serve. No. 
Where's he going to serve this time? Goes down the tee again. Djokovic just sort of pushes it back till he gets in the rally, sort of looping these forehands cross court. Now he's opted for some slice. Diego's going inside out forehand, now into the backhand side. Now, yeah, this is dangerous now. There we go. Now they're into the really into the rally, and he's peppering Diego's forehand, and there's that error yeah, again. And the break. The error. Well played. Gosh, and just like that, Novak's back. Two all. Yeah, exposed the. Uh, he went to the well again, didn't he? He did well in that first one and hit it to that forehand and kept peppering it. And then the error came, did it again. Same thing happened. Is that going to be a sign of things to come in this match? Do you reckon? Oh, it's very intelligent play, but what you expect, mate, from Novak? Yeah. No, well, we, let's see how he uh, gets on in his own serve because he wasn't too good on his last service game. Well, yeah, again, another first serve. He's not hit many first serves at all so far. No. He's going to have to change that. Indeed. Oh, Especially is... against someone like Medvedev. If you're hitting all second serves against Medvedev, I think he beats Djokovic. Oh, good winner there from Djokovic. And that's, uh, I think, what we've just seen there. He's trying to expose the Diego forehand from the serve this time, pushing him out wide to that forehand side again, opened up the court, and then he just uh, forced Diego to the other side just yeah. to finish it off back to the forehand side again. And yeah, and let us know, guys. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, what is your predictions? I'm going to go really bold. I'm going to go crazy. Uh, I'm going to go, <laughs> Diego Schwartzman's going to win this match in three sets. Um, That's very bold. <laughs> it's crazy, very... but my mind's also saying Djokovic's going to take it in two. <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, that's some, probably a bit safer. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. You don't know. We saw what happened to Djokovic in uh, Vienna, but you'd expect him to be a bit better today. And you expect him to... If he does go behind, there'll be a little bit more fight in him, I think, this time. Yeah. Diego misfiring there a little bit. Oh, look who's joined us. Jackie's here. How are we doing, hey. Jackie? Didn't see you last night with uh, Rublev. Yeah. <laughs> JG's already stuck Scary the night. knife in already. <laughs> God, that's it. She's going to be gone again soon. <laughs> and Wildlife saying, drop Sopovic all the way. Yeah. Dropped. We haven't seen one yet. Oh, good shot there. He's into the net. And a nice drop shot volley. And Mary Sky going Novak in two, obviously. So I don't know why the score hasn't updated. Oh, it has now. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't just press it randomly in the middle of the game. <laughs> I was looking at the score, worried that I did. <laughs> so oh, no, they're showing the final there of Jokic uh, now, 2013. Yeah, well, this is. God. If Look we get this. treated Crazy. to that again this year, that's going to be an absolute uh, explosive matchup, isn't it? Oh, look at look how young Rafa looks there. Novak as well, actually. Yeah. Novak's uh, aged probably a little bit better, I'd say. Man, look at him... the fans. This gives you goosebumps in it watching this. It's amazing. I know. God, look how pumped up he was then, lifting that trophy. God. That could happen again, and he's my tip to win the tournament this year. I think he can do it. I think he just needs to really, really pump himself back up again from, uh, yeah, when he won in Cincinnati, when he won in Rome, obviously he won Australian Open as well this year. Uh, didn't he win? He won another tournament as well. Am I forget? I'm forgetting one for some reason. Who? Hey, Djokovic. He's won four this year. Um. It's one of the earlier ones. Is it Doha? No, no, no. it was Rubla. <laughs> it was in oh, France, he won, didn't he, against Monfils? Ah, that's it. You got it. Marseille? Marseille. Marseille. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You got it. That was it. Monfils. Ah, oh, poor old Monfils. Hope he comes back and uh, comes back with a bang. Don't like to yeah. see Monfils out on the sidelines. He could have been there and waiting in the wings. No, I think he'll be back next year. Uh, he's got an injury at the moment, so hopefully he can sort that out because it's a sad place without him. Mm. Definitely is. Here we go. Diego Schwartzman serving. 3-2 down. Yeah, Sean there, just clarify. We missed Dubai as well, Ben. Was it Dubai? I think so, yeah. Oh, apologies. I thought he only had four this year. Yeah, maybe it was Dubai, the, the last one. The one oh, was it? I'm not sure. Oh, was that where it was? Apologies. Potentially. 
should have our facts in order, JG. Oh, you put me under pressure. I'm not going to just tell <laughs> no that off the top of my head. <laughs> Come on, we're supposed to be kind of statisticians, if that's the right word. Oh, and here these, we go. Uh, Djokovic here sort of turned this match on its head completely. I know. Love it. And you see Diego's ground shots aren't looking as confident now, are they? No. Uh, I don't think he could believe it when he took the early break. No. <laughs> Shocked himself. Here we go. Going cross-court backhands right now. Now he's gone down to the Djokovic forehand. Djokovic slides. Now he's gone slice into uh, Diego's forehand. Long rallies here. He's not seen the drop shot yet. There you go. Oh, Great shot right by there. Diego. And he's gone to finish it off. Djokovic oh. guesses right. And can he smash it? He does. Yeah, well, well played. played. And Djokovic claps it as well. Really yeah, well I mean, played. That backhand was amazing. Yeah, so good. That's what Rublev tried yesterday, but <laughs> didn't really work out. <laughs> no, <laughs> it didn't really work out. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit of an interesting one, that one. Yeah, so it was... Uh... Oh, yeah, don't forget as well, <laughs> we obviously missed one, which had... obviously it can't be in... totally included for just Djokovic, but he also won the ATP Cup, didn't he, at the beginning of the year? Yeah. With Serbia. Well, the team did, the team. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still, I'm sure he's putting that to his name as well. Ladovic played well in that. Mate, there was a lot of great performances in that. All the Serbians played really well. Yeah. So does Australia, though. They were pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh, unlucky attempt there from Djokovic. First drop shot of the match, but it's fouled. Ah. You missed it, Ben. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I was just checking that Dubai Open. It was the Dubai Open, but, yeah, it was Gael Monfils in the semi-final. It wasn't in the final. It was a sitter pass. He beat yeah. in the final. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I forgot where it was. I knew that uh, Monfils was Second playing in Mar here. Marseille a couple of times, wasn't he? Here we go. Schwartzman's turned this around, this game a little bit. 30-15. Good return from Djokovic. Keeps it low over the net. Now they're going. Djokovic's backhand's being peppered quite a lot here. He's bringing out the slice now. He's still... Firing it to that backhand side. He's gone forehand this time. Djokovic still in this rally, though. <clears throat> now they he keeps on putting it more focus on that Djokovic backhand. It's but, a very tactical match so far. Yeah, very even. Oh, Schwartzman just long, I believe, on that one. Looked like it could have clipped the line, but unfortunately yeah. not just long. Well, it must have been long. And that's, what's, that's what he's probably thinking now. If I just stay in those rallies, but we just sit in there again. You stay in the rallies and... Uh, yeah, you end up making the mistake against Djokovic. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, Jack's uh, explaining Rublev's defeat, saying uh, in the interview yesterday, he said that he lacked experience playing against the big three, unlike the other London participants. Hmm. He does lack experience. Maybe the occasion might get to him, but now he's got he nothing to lose. He did say as well, I did say that he was a bit nervous. He did say he yeah, felt a bit yeah. nervous. And it's understandable. It's it probably would have been nicer for him if he was playing like not Rafa <laughs> in his first match. To saying be that, if it's better to do it this year, had to have your first one without all the fans there, that would be get, even more daunting for him. Can't get worse, can it, than Rafa now? So surely just can't go and well, move on. From that. Well, that's probably just as bad. Well, he can only he can't play a uh, Djokovic yet anyway. So at least he's got the what that could be the worst possible scenario out the way. Good hold there. From, yeah, um, I really think he's going to beat um, Sitter Pass. Well, if he keeps shanking it like he was doing yesterday, I think he can. That's for sure. So many shanks coming off of that Sitter Pass racket. I've I lost count. Yeah, we've got James there calling, saying, hi, lads, how are we doing, mate? And he's saying, Djokovic, too little, too love. Interesting uh, little statistic here. Uh, Djokovic's matches against players under five foot ten. He's actually won eighty four point six percent of the matches against the smaller opposition. Gosh. So, uh, <laughs> is there a lot of players fight under five foot ten? I'm sure there is a few. Yeah, Fanini. Yeah, he's got to be under five ten, surely. Uh, I feel like he's got, he might be five ten. He might be five ten. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is under five ten though. So, yeah, I don't know, probably struggle to find many players under five ten. Oh, here we go, Djokovic. 
Oh, Ooh. and that, yeah. It's that same shot again. Oh, oh, and he got himself in the position. It was a very poor volley as well. Yeah. I think he came in on a weird shot again. Djokovic doesn't look himself completely no. this match. Doesn't. He's making He's some not really. The same formidable player we always see. No. He's making some very bad decisions of, of coming to the net so far from what I've seen. I don't know why he's rushing the net and deciding. He's, he's, looking, great either. he's looking like he needs to shorten the points. I don't know why he's thinking that. He's winning the longer rallies. There we go. The drop shot's there. It's not good yeah. enough again. He's still and two and both testing, fouled so far. <laughs> testing his range still. I saw him doing that in the practice as well. Every time they'd get into a rally in the practice, he'd always finish it with one of those. Drop shot, drop no, shot. No, he, he always does, to be fair. He's always, he, at the beginning of all the matches, the drop shots don't seem to work. And then as no. the match goes on, they get a lot better. Yeah, he's not far off, though. It hit the net cord on his side, so he's pretty close already. I think it's all just dependent on his positioning on the court as well. He likes to try and hit them from the baseline a lot of the time. Yeah. Here we go anyway. 15.30 and maybe another chance for a Schwartzman break. Oh, he's just hit the baseline with that forehand, Djokovic. Oh, it's into the so net. So close. That's happened can't be, twice now. You can't be giving that away. Gosh. <laughs> he's a bit lucky there. <laughs> What's Aaron saying? <laughs> you say that Djokovic has an 84.1% against players under 5 at 10. He has an 83.1% total, so that's not much better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of an sure. irrelevant stat then come up with. All right, exactly all right. <laughs> I was trying to find something that would relate to short players. Great volley that time from Djokovic, though. It's the same as his career one. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? It's all right. You tried. I tried my best to try and pull out something. <laughs> what about versus the top 10 players? I believe he's got a, uh, he wins 68 well, He's got points. one of the best record there is, so... 68.7% of matches won against players inside the top 10. Does anyone have better? I doubt it. God, I reckon it's going to be tough to beat that. If not, it's... Yeah, you know, again, another smash gone straight down the middle. Yeah. Oh, oh really well ball. finished that. That's what we need to see Good more. Of. Warming up. Warming up still. <laughs> I think I'm feeling both these players are still finding their feet a little bit in this match. I don't think it's the most confident, but you've seen some dodgy shots from both. You've seen some good shots from both. You haven't really well, seen any winners from uh, Schwartzman yet, though. It's going to be tricky today. Uh, Jackie yeah. saying, Djokovic hasn't looked himself since the US Open. Are we underestimating the effect that that's had on him? What do you think? What? The US Open. The US Open? Uh, I don't think it has an effect on him. I don't. I. I personally really? don't think. No, nah, I don't think so. I think he's not the type of player. Do you not to say let... he's not been as good since? I don't think he can really. Oh, he's tell. unbeaten, mate. He was unbeaten before, and then since then he's been beaten a few times. Say if he say if he went all the way and won the U, a U.S. Open, going into Roland Garros, would he had would have would he have played a lot better in that final against uh, Rafa Nadal? Where in uh, what in Roland Garros? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone could have done anything against <laughs> Rafael Nadal. I think Rafael Nadal would have won straight sets against anybody. I don't think it mattered. I think it was just Rafa's tournament. Rafa played the best I've ever seen him play at Roland Garros, considering the conditions and everything. It was ridiculous. And mm. Rafa could be... He might be I, getting I do from, think there's a hint of it, personally. I do agree. I think there is a little hint of it. It did take an effect. They obviously he opened himself up to a lot of criticism. Uh, he's already a player who's heavily criticised and the media did go crazy after that uh, on him. So I do think it would have a slight, not not a massive one, just a slight uh, effect on him. For me, I think the bigger effect is just probably fatigue in terms of he's played so much tennis this year, a lot yeah. more than everyone else. Yeah, um, Adria Tour. And it's not even yet. just that. Like Even in the break, he was still playing tennis. I don't think it's more the physical uh tiredness it's more the mental of all the the drainingness of this time of what was happening and trying to maintain uh high at the highest of levels and win all these tournaments wow. i think it's taken its toll on him slightly and we're seeing a Djokovic now at the end of the year who's not as good as what he was at the beginning mm, regardless he's still know. getting to finals he's still playing pretty good and beating most players so i think he's not at the same level like you say but his level is so far above everybody else we're uh, still going to be seeing uh, 
him playing at a very high level. And yeah. uh, I just think he just needs to get into it a little bit. Maybe there is something there which he just needs to reignite a little flame just to get it going again. I mean, maybe it's hard to get up for some of the stuff. Maybe he doesn't like playing behind closed doors. Maybe he thrives on the crowd going against him. That could be yeah. another point that we always forget. It's always the crowd going for people. The people who love the crowd against them, they're, they're suffering too. Yeah. So I think he loves the fact Ooh. that he proves everybody wrong all the time. They could be willing the opposition to win all the time, and he's there. And this is a brilliant rally oh, we're going to right now. What a good volley from Schwartzman there. Oh, rally of the match so far. Oh, great shot from Djokovic there. Forces the error. Gosh, that is crazy. Such a high yeah. level. You was talking. I wasn't really listening. I'll be honest. I was so enthralled with what was going on. <laughs> yeah, mate. I was just saying that it can. If the crowd would just inspire him, and yeah, he's yeah. the person who likes proving everybody wrong. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. He, he, it's almost like this tournament though is sort of built for him. He's done so well here in the past. Yeah. And this surface is perfect as well. I know he's saying, Tossi, Farmer D saying, this is Djokovic's surface. Yeah. Well, here you go. Schwartzman trying to finish the point here early. He's done well there. Forces the error from Djokovic. Needs he more of that. To, uh, he has to. There. I was. That, that's first set gone. Yeah, for sure. Huge point. Here we go. Would well, you say we're approaching the business end? I think we're <laughs> if there's a break point possibly points one on serves so Djokovic won 40 out of 20 and Schwartzman 11 wow here we go oh another let he gets a lot of let services doesn't he uh, we've got Thomas Rocks made it in how's it yeah. going mate good to see you yeah cheers for the super sticker as well mate we appreciate that there we go. Into the Djokovic backhand. Good serve. There you go. Prevents any break points. And it's 30 all. Oh, so far, mate. We could still get one here. No. It's just one at a time. Step by step. Take your time. Nice. And there you go. His girlfriend made it in. That's <laughs> that number two for the, uh, for the match. Is that definitely her? She looks a little, a little bit different. I know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's somebody just plays. He's got a double, like a double. That's, if she can't make it, she just puts a mask on and goes in the crowd. There we go. He's fired into the Djokovic back, and Djokovic has gone big with a big lob. Schwartzman with the smash. Yeah, Good smash. Brilliant smash under pressure. 40 30, and he fist pumps that one. Yeah. It's a nice uh, slice. And Aaron saying there is a win percentage at the ATP Tour Finals is uh, 72% as well. Oh, Thanks Aaron's for the, the stats today. That's Stat it, down. mate. That's it. I'll, uh, I'll sit back and just enjoy the match if you're providing the stats, Aaron. That's, that's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a second serve to have a look at, though, I believe. Or was that another let? I wasn't sure. Oh, come on. No, it was a let. <laughs> so there they go. It's always on that second. side, he gets a let. Yeah, second serve. Diego. Needs to get out of this one. Oh, it looks long. Yeah, no, there you go. Good deuce. That's nervy, not good. Nervy times. Two points away. I'm being broken here. Oops, somebody uh, banging on the roof. Uh, anyway, yeah, you've got unforced error count there. You've got eight from Schwartzman so far, three from Djokovic, nine winners to eight for uh, Djokovic. Yeah, I don't remember Schwartzman hitting eight winners. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's definitely oh, not one. There's a break point. Gosh. It's loose. Loose. It's a break point, but it's really a virtual set point for me. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> Charlie with some uh, interesting stats there. I threw up playing the tennis my dad a couple of weeks back. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a hazard on court. Here we go. Have you cleaned it up? Yeah. <laughs> Left it for the next people are coming on. Here we go. Djokovic goes for the pass. Oh, oh here's the net cord. How unlucky can you oh. get? That was passing him every day of the week. Just yep. clicked the top of the net and it forced it wide. So unlucky. Indeed. So again. Diego saved by the net cord. 
Definitely. Wow. So, pretty yeah, crazy. He's that smiles, like, he can't believe it. He's so lucky. I can't believe he hit that. Uh, hit the neck. It looked like a clear winner, and then it just skimmed it and carried yeah. it out. Okay. Usually, when it hits it, it'll still bounce in as well. Oh, here we go. They're playing a bit safe down the middle. Diego's gone for the lines. No, he's gone. Oh, oh he's tried God. it. That's the way he's, he knows he's got to go for it. He can't allow Djokovic any room. Here we go. Break point number two. I don't think he's going to get the same level of luck this time as well. Djokovic is going to be raising the height of his return <laughs> a couple of centimetres just to get it over for the passing shots, you get a feeling. It's Here been we an go. interesting match, though, do you not think? Yeah, for sure. I think it's interesting. It's like a game of cat and mouse, this one. Yeah, a bit of a chess match as well. Not insinuating that uh, Schwartzman's the mouse because he's the smaller one. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, down the line. Schwartzman fires it into the open court. Down the line now from all. Oh, <gasps> just dropped it over the net there. Schwartzman, he's gone slice into the Djokovic forehand. God, good shot from Djokovic. It looks like it's going to go long. It's not. Oh, it's stayed in. It's Jay winner! Win and Diego, oh, God, no. Oh, brilliant. Like that. Man. Djokovic just raises his game at the right time and yes. breaks to make it 5-3 in this first set. Yeah, I mean, Diego was just about squeezing it over the net there <laughs> on each of those shots. It was getting... The very, very uh, squeaky bum time. I think now you could class probably definitely business end. You reckon? Yeah, oh, for sure. Djokovic serving for the set. I think it's over, Ben. I don't think it's a business end for me. Well, if he breaks think... back, if he has to break... have a little dent in the serve here, then I'll, I'll press it. But oh, other than I that, can't. I think it's over. Oh, I look wide and it's yeah, out. Out. There you go. Just I love 30, start. Ben, and I'll press it. Oh, mate, it's up to you. I'll leave it on you. I know that I don't want to... Because uh, I just get... don't feel it. It doesn't feel it right now. I don't feel the business end coming. I don't want to upset everybody in the chat. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Where's he going to go? Oh, it's a let. There's so many lets in this match so far. I've not seen this many in a match for a I long time. i the net a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Trying to catch out uh, Djokovic. Oof. Ace. Was, nah. Yeah, think was, I think it Is was... It uh, I'm not sure. I think it was wide. No, nah, it couldn't have been. We didn't nah, say it. Maybe it was another let then. <laughs> <laughs> back to back. Yeah, it must have been because he's just missed that one. And he's going to go for it again. Attempt number they four. Don't, they don't tell you when it's a let on the, the sideboards. Need to add that. Melez saying business end for sure. Djokovic going for it now. Here we go. And Schwartzman peppering that Djokovic backhand, but Djokovic is wise to it. He start, takes over the rally, attacks the net. Oh, oh that's a come back? great, I don't know, great angle. Djokovic has a smash and he puts yeah. it away. 15 okay. all. I know. It's pretty crazy, though. I, I think you should use more of those against Novak Djokovic. Just put, keep putting it up in the rafters just because he hates smashing the ball. You yeah, can see one, how... Anyone could have done that You can one. see how nervy he gets every time he sees it fly up that well, high. I don't know about that. I don't think he gets that nervous. I think he gets Most a bit of the time, nervous. he just swats them away. No, most of them, he just pushes them back. That's what I mean. It Depends keeps how deep they are. Oh, look at that for a shot. And good volley this time. Oh, no God. chance of going to that back. one. <laughs> I know. It's how you fast it is Diego <laughs> Schwartzman. You literally have to hit the lines to stop what him beats. getting it back. Yeah, and he put it to one side and really good volley there. Yeah, yeah, got down low. It just had enough uh, on it. You see him there just coming into shot just as the second bounce went. Oh. Yeah, I think we was reading the winner's count a bit wrong earlier because Swartzman's had three winners. Maybe we're reading unforced errors as winners. <laughs> yeah, that would make more sense. Swartzman's hit three, Djokovic 13. I don't wow. think it was high. Yeah. He's not really one for 
that many winners really just force you into errors really, and difficult against Djokovic. There we go. Schwartzman just sticking in these rallies right now. Waiting for Djokovic to... Uh, oh, oh, there's a winner. Oh, what a shot that is. <laughs> Spoke too Add soon. One to it. And for me, now we are approaching the business end. The next point is vital. There you huge, go. Huge forehand down the line there. 30 J- JG calls the business end. And it has begun at 30 all. And we could be potentially two points away from the end of the set. Or we could be two points away from Diego Schwartzman serving to stay in the set. Djokovic getting a few grey hairs there, by the looks of it. No surprise. Here we go. Oh, down the line from Djokovic, cross court, Schwartzman. Oh, they're both. It's a little bit nervy. Good backhand down the line. It's really working well for him, that shot. Yeah, uh, just out. Just out. Really, really looking good, that shot down the line. Uh, the backhand for Djokovic today. Set point. That's an important shot for him today, especially playing oh, it look in. Look how close it was. It was very tight. Yeah, a couple a of millimeter. millimeter out. I think. Pepper in that Schwartzman forehand, especially with that bullet of a backhand, is really important. Yeah, yeah. Can he get a first serve in on set point? Oh, he can. What a great serve. And there you yeah, go. There you go. First set. Novak Djokovic, 6-3. I think I missed a consolidation at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Lee's know. asking there, I wonder if Ben dyes his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I dye my hair? No, that's his natural colour. Yeah, the, the, this cap colour. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I have a few greys coming through. They're on the side, but it's quite long at the minute, so it sort of covers it up a bit. There's a few grey beard ones as well coming through. Can't see it. Luckily, it's not uh, HD enough, this camera, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, the big difference really that first set is the winner count. Djokovic hitting yeah. 12, Schwartzman 4. Look. Eight on the forehand, one on the backhand, and three from uh, aces. Both players done very well at the net, though. Djokovic, five out of seven. Swartz from four out of four. 100% when he comes to the net. And there, yeah, the shots over nine, over nine shot rallies. Djokovic, nine to five, he's winning. Yeah. Just like the average work day. Yeah, anything what happens a bit, any, any of the rallies were a bit longer, anything really from five or above. Um, and Djokovic has had the advantage, really. Yeah, well, it's going to be real. It's a, it's a long way back now for Diego Schwartzman. You have to say, you don't. Th- how many times uh, has he been able to come back and even uh, test Djokovic in any of the previous matches they've played? I mean, have a look down the list of the times they've played. It's only uh, well, he's only won sets in two of the matches, and they're both on clay. The only times yeah. he's played him on hard court. Oh. Apologies. <laughs> Drag the cursor down. Yeah, uh, the only times that he's uh, taken the sets off, and uh, that was, yeah, the one was in Rome, uh, and uh, he took the second set. That was on a tie break, and I think that probably is the best way of him probably coming back into this match, if I'm honest. He needs to try and squeeze out this second set. Can he just hold serve and just hope to get to that tie break and hope for the Djokovic level to drop? It doesn't look like it's going to happen at the moment. And on, on the hard courts as well, he's so formidable. Aaron there providing a statistic. Novak's won 79.94% of all matches on hard courts. <laughs> nah, it's not bad. Not a bad record. I mean, how does it? how is it with uh, Diego Schwartzman? Be interesting yeah. to... Uh, well, be interesting to see his uh, statistics on uh, hard court. Does it really matter, mate? He's playing Novak. It's like completely different. <laughs> he goes out the window. Yeah. What's his record against him? Zero. So yeah, well, it is zero. Exactly. You sound a bit down, downhearted. Over no, I'm there, just like maybe. it doesn't really mean anything, does it? He's, there we he's go. playing Novak here, and he's just not. It's a short break, and they're back into it. Diego's thought, right? Need to do a stand by Vrinka and change the color of the top. So maybe this will help, and it's sort of helping so far. He's oh, playing well. Oh, Djokovic is as good a retrieval as yeah, well played, Diego. Yeah, what a start though. It's been a really good match. 
uh, despite Djokovic being pretty dominant, I've really enjoyed it. I thought both players have actually gone for it a lot more. It's better than the City Pass team one by far. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, it's, I think it's really promising start from Novak Djokovic. To be honest, I think he started the match badly, but some of the shots he's been pulling out since then have been a uh, pretty uh, well. The, it's tactically astute, I think, and yeah. he knows what he's doing against Schwartzman. He's picked his shots well, and he's not really come out of first gear, Djokovic, has he? Uh, no, I mean, at times he has. He has uh, but not good often. play, Schwartzman. I'm thinking he's just yeah, he's sort of cantering around the court a little bit in using the slide to his own advantage. So he's so good at retrieval and Schwartzman hasn't given him much to really like dig down deep to try and retrieve. You can see that like, the, the matches he played against Rafa here, it's just, he's literally all over the court sliding, sprinting and just to retrieve. He hasn't really been doing the same in this one. It's just sort of a steady jog around the court. What do you think the chance of us uh, of getting a, a, a third set? Uh, uh, if you had to give me a percentage, what's the percentage chance of us getting a third set right now? Say that 25%. Yeah, I think I'd agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go higher than it's that. about that. I've I just, think... I'd have to go a bit more than you, maybe 28%. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I just feel a bit bad for... Because Schwartzman obviously can mix it with the best players but i just like to see him uh he sort of gets a little bit overwhelmed like we saw in that match with zverev as well he mm. can get powered off the court when people can hit That's not the really line. happened today though Nah, but i don't think i think Djokovic is more of a like he's more of an accurate striker than a yeah. power striker. I yeah, think yeah. that was why I thought that maybe he has a better chance against Djokovic than he possibly does against the other two because Zverev already thumped him. I think he... Didn't he already play uh, Medvedev as well, I believe? Is that correct? Hey, what's that? Sorry? Schwartzman. I don't remember, mate. Let me just have a quick check. I'm just looking at the percentages here, everyone's given a lot less than us. Thomas got 7.3%, Saruk 11%, Jackie 10 and Mary, no chance. <laughs> so zero. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, of course, Schwartzman played Medvedev in Paris. That was it. I just knew he played him recently. So he played Zverev in Cologne, lost 6 2, 6 1. Played Medvedev in Paris, lost 6 3, 6 1. And that's yeah. what I mean. It's just uh, against uh, Djokovic, it's not so much of the power player. I know that he can still hit it hard, and he has shown it there. Oh, Great, good. good. He's more. He, he's not so many winners, but he'll just force him around the court a lot more to win the points, and just his better tactics and strategy. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd only gone with sixty percent. Someone a bit more optimistic. One hundred percent there from Shrew. <laughs> No, he's saying 100% for Charlie. Oh, right. <laughs> sure. Okay, that's fair enough. 10% Jackie, okay. No one's really giving uh, poor little Diego a chance here. But don't forget, still earning some good money from being there this week, so I'm sure he's still going to be pretty happy. Oh, it's a good shot down the line. Diego being given the runaround hard. Djokovic is inside out forehand. Great shot, Ooh. and it's long. Close. Yeah, really, uh, really opens up the court with that inside out forehand. He hits it at such a crafty angle. Uh, it's just uh, really, really difficult for Schwartzman to stay in the rally after that. Yeah, you kind of think he has to hold here. Yeah. He gets broken <laughs> early in the second. It could be a very, very, very one sided second set. This one's for you, Diego. I'm going to have a bud on you. Cheers, Diego. So, uh, oh. oh, slice down the middle. Djokovic sort of toying with him a little bit here. Oh, a good shot over to the forehand side. He opens the court up. Oh, he's hitting that baseline, and now he's gone for the drop shot. It's a bit too loopy. Oh, he's into the net. He's lobbed Schwartzman. It's a good lob. Now Schwartzman's gone massive with the lob. Djokovic. Oh, yeah, he's nearly it's out. Pretty good. Go. And it's in. He breaks.
Wow. With the drop side, it was so obvious what Swatson was going to do. I feel like yeah. he had to go the other side because he did it Djokovic, every time. Yeah, he's done it every time so far. And Djokovic is just waiting down the waiting for the shot down the line. It's pretty Didn't mad. Come, did it? Oh, need to get a comfier seat. I think we've been sitting so many hours in this. I think I'm wearing it out. <laughs> need to get myself an armchair. I think to do it. In. Vance saying, "I look like Diego with weak eyesight." <laughs> 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 so the drop shot it sort of worked I don't think it was a very good drop shot to be honest drop shot of it hasn't really turned up that was a drop shot that Diego easily got to and like you said just a, a poor uh, choice of shot predictable selection. it was predictable that's all it was well, Djokovic I, knew, it, I knew exactly what he was going to be doing as well before he did it but did Djokovic was his just his placement there? No, mate, he stepped over onto that side as well. Yeah. He, it was obvious where he was going, and from that moment, it was over. It's true. Oh no, Charlie's saying a bagel set, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> God, don't do that to him. <laughs> don't forget, every game counts in this uh, in this tournament. Yeah, well, every set first, and then it'll go to games. Yeah, exactly. So you just want to just win as many games as possible. So a third set loss to Djokovic would actually, wouldn't actually be too bad for Diego. Yeah, he's got a, got a stiff task ahead of him playing two people that have walloped him in the past two weeks. Wow, oh, what a winner from Djokovic down the line there. He's warming up now. The masterclass is uh, suddenly becoming Djokovic's apparent. Djokovic's only been playing at about 40%. I think he's just raised his game there to about 50 maybe. Does it on just certain points though just yeah suddenly just there you go that one i'm gonna take easily on that shot decides whether he wants to try and hit a line or not i think his serving is the only thing which i could say maybe could improve a little bit in this match but yeah other than that he's looking pretty pretty damn good just keeping it in play and Diego making the error there. <laughs> there seems like a deflation. There was a crowd there right now. I don't think... I think he needs a crowd be. right now just to try and lift him up because this match is, is almost gone. Yeah, it's... it's you can't... Have, his head's gone down. This is, it reminds me of Rublev yesterday <laughs> when you played the big three at this stage. And this is just sad that the two lower ranked people have had to play the two highest ranked people in the <laughs> yeah, tournament no. in their first match. It's not, not really, fair, really is it? Nah, it's not fair because it doesn't really like get you into the tournament much, does it? Not the best you... introduction to uh, the ATP finals, is it, for Rublev? Welcome and so to, the, far? to the biggest stage in the world, Wallop. They'll probably cry next time they qualify. <laughs> oh, what a winner from Djokovic there. Just here, they're just they're like, no, up. I'm not going to come. I don't want to go. Don't send me there to London. I don't want to go back. <laughs> it's oh, not, Turin. It's Turin now. <laughs> Maybe if, if, it, if they change it to clay, I think Schwartzman would love it. I think he'd stand a, a chance of winning it then. Oh, it's an ace. And there you go. <laughs> just like that, we got two. We got a... Uh, Just like that, game to love to consolidate. It doesn't get much more comfortable, does it? I mean, that service game was probably the most comfortable uh, game of the match for me. I think he just absolutely blitzed him. Mate, game set match, I reckon. <laughs> Mate, it's pretty, pretty crazy. So here we go, Schwartzman serving. Come on, Diego. Let's show What's... some fight. Yeah, he's got to do something here. There we go, playing it down the middle. I think he's going to have to be the one. He can't let Djokovic start dictating the rallies and like he's doing here again, and he lets it, it opens up the court. Djokovic not really going for it yet. Oh, we tried there. <laughs> it's the next That court. net's not doing him any favours today, is it? I think if, if I'm perfectly honest, I think Djokovic is going to be happy just to hold serve now for the rest of the... I don't think he's going to care too much about... Uh, about going for Diego, so like you've seen there, he didn't yeah, try and no, hit the lines just, at all, yeah, did he? Yeah, no, Novak's just going to calm it down, I reckon, now, just go through the motions, hold his serve, that's all he needs to do each time. Yeah. Might even see him maybe go for a few big, big shots just to try and get it over with. Well, like that one you just saw, it was just a bit of a wild one. We're just coming up to 54, 54 minutes, so it said on the clock. Oh, that's a good return. 
Oh, nice shot from Djokovic. Really opened his body up, pushed it into the Schwartzman backhand. Just levels. And Schwartzman, <laughs> it's like, what am I supposed to do? So I don't know. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he said. What do I do now? <laughs> yeah, what, what's, what was plan B? <laughs> oh, number three. There you go. Cameraman's got in again. At least with Diego's dad, he's a bit more, he's, well, he's a lot better than Sitter Pass as well. Oh, God. He's more I think quiet. I think Pass, his dad wasn't going crazy in that last match. He Although saved Shank... the Rublev one. Oh. <laughs> oh, good return. Slice from Djokovic. They're going backhand. Oh, down the middle. Djokovic. Weak, weak, weak. Djokovic doing his thing of just playing it down the middle. Let you make the angles. There you go. Now he's suddenly oh, he's turned it on, but into the net. Disappointing. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He put some energy it's into that. He's not finding any depth on any of his shots, though. Everything's just bouncing way inside the baseline. Not much power. Just easy. So easy for Novak. How many of those rallies do you think we're going to see where he actually expects Djokovic to make the error to get the point? I mean, you can't do that against uh, Novak Djokovic. Unless his game completely falls apart. <laughs> good backhand this time. Schwartzman going for hey, it. Well done. That's shot. it. Did him with the eyes again. Yeah. <laughs> always playing it back behind the player. Always a good tactic. So maybe well, not use always. Good... Not when they stand still and you don't oh, realize. Yeah, they think, oh, gosh. When they stand still, that's always a nightmare. We saw that. What was that one yesterday we saw when Rafa, he smashed it at Rafa it was twice. Pospisil as well, Pospisil and Sinner. Yeah. That Rafa one yesterday was so ridiculous, though. Yeah. When he smashed it at him and then he yeah, it's held it. because Rafa his... stood still and he was like, oh, no. He just held no, his made me look like up. an idiot. <laughs> Got it back. It went over the net. Oh, that's and he nice. Well wow. played, Diego. And he holds. He's out of that one. It's 2-1 in the second set. He's still yeah. down a break, though. We've got a minute to change over now. Yeah, I mean... But Thomas that... saying the only way Djokovic's going to lose now is if Sonego shows up. <laughs> Sonego. I think that the Sonego train has uh, come to its final station, to be honest, on that little uh, explosive week of tennis he had. Uh, maybe he can rediscover it again next year, hoping he can rediscover it on hard court again. Yeah, and then obviously didn't... the big, big, big match tonight, Sverev Medvedev. We'll be doing a live watch along for that. So hopefully if many of you can join us. Uh, it's a repeat of last week's Paris uh, Masters final where yeah. Medvedev prevailed in three sets. Are we going to see the same again? Well, it's going to be a close one, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not really sure who's going to win. It's just, uh, it's just those were, they were so evenly matched. Uh, Medvedev looked better on ground shots and stuff, but Zverev, his level dropped. If his level doesn't drop this time, can he squeeze it? Yeah. Could do. Are you going to be back in... Are you going to have the German flag later on? Going to have to, aren't I? I know you're going to be re repping uh, Russia, so I'm going to have to be back in Zverev with the... Uh, even though I've got Medvedev to uh, qualify from the group with Djokovic, as do you. Yeah, you've gone against the 2018 champ. Well, what can I do? It's just some um, Jagger's going to be annoyed with me, but if you, if your picks are your picks at the end of the day. i got to stick by it. I picked Rub 11 team in the other group. That may uh, come a cropper, but there's still lots of tennis to be played. There's still only the first matches. Anyone can still go through, don't forget. It's not just all dependent on the first match. Man, Vanch is going hard on him, saying, is Ferris going to lose all of his sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> well... We have You'd to see what happens with that. Well, I think the ATP did actually come out and uh, acknowledge the fact of what's been happening with uh, Zverev off court. But we're not, not sure what's going to be happening next. No. Here we go. Playing it pretty central. Backhand to backhand. Cross court. Now Djokovic goes down the line. Now he in starts injecting the pace. There we go. Oh, he's hit that net cord again. And good shot from Schwartzman. Somehow he's dug that out, cool. Djokovic. That's ridiculous. Good oh, winner. Oh, really good shot. Well done, Diego. Love 15. He deserves that. Yeah. Really does deserve it. Sharuk saying, is Daniil still upset at me? 
I'm hope not. I hopefully when we next uh, get him on, he can uh, be a little bit more polite. Uh, I've, I'm I'm now tipping him to go through the group and and to make the final. So hopefully that's uh, enough to get him off my back. Could be a big tournament for Daniel. Can't well, sure what's going on there with that first serve. Could be a big end to the year for and him. And meter wide. Yeah. <laughs> Is this where Djokovic's level suddenly drops? Are we going to see it? Oh, good shot there from uh, Schwartzman. He's got Djokovic moving now, which is really promising from him. You've got to keep Djokovic on the move. Keep him guessing. Good forehand. Yeah, he's making Djokovic raise his game. Oh, he left oh, it. It's in. Oh, I thought it was a good leave, though. I thought it was a good leave. <laughs> he's, wacky. he's angry there. But, mate, honestly, that's just world class from Novak Djokovic. How many times oh. are we going to say it? That was such a well measured, calculated shot. Oh, he had, he, he's in his grasp, that volley, though. He could have just sealed it and just gone, okay, I'm just going to take it. Just take it. Just put it away. I thought it was going out as well. I left it as well. Oh, but you, sometimes it's better to just be safe. I know what you mean, yeah. Just because you just never know. I don't think it was know. an easy volley, though. It's not one of them ones where you can easily squat it away. It was coming with some pace and the high. weird angle as well. Yeah, so many but... times you miss that you go wide or straight into the net there. I know. It's, you've got to make that split And then you'll be thinking, oh, why didn't I just leave it? It was going out. You'd never have known if you didn't leave it. Good serve from Djokovic. And Schwartzman now, he's getting into these rallies a lot better. He's starting to inject a bit of pace. He's playing well, he's, yeah. He's starting to hit a lot deeper shots. Oh, Ooh. and it's three out of three missed on the drop shots now. Yeah, I think he hit one successful one, but it wasn't very good in terms was of a, like... Nah, the, I don't class that as a proper one. He's not, one. Had, he's not hit one successful drop shot. They've got to be but unreturnable. He's won the point from it, no. Yeah, got to be unreturnable to be a proper drop shot of it. Yeah. Here we go. 30 all. Close, close one. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see uh, Diego fighting, not going down without a fight here. Good serve out wide. Oh, look at that from Djokovic. He's opened up the whole court. Yeah, He's leading well, that. 40, oh, well. That was uh, another close level. Close the door shut there. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, Diego's looking, but what? Well, could he, he would have had a break point if he got that volley. He's still looking at that line, isn't he? Thinking, why did I leave that? Yeah. He still can force a juice. Still it's can promising, force though, it. But with the break, he's down. I think his percent is looking about 4%. Yeah. <laughs> 4% now. <laughs> Not the best. Schwartzman goes for the return big. Djokovic keeps it in down the middle. They go forehand cross court. Djokovic decides to mix it up, put it down the line. Kept in. Great angle from Djokovic on the backhand, though. They're going backhand for backhands oh, into the oh, net. Tennis. Well played, held. Djokovic. Sad to see that from uh, Diego in the end. Uh, Djokovic trying to outlast him in those type of rallies. going to be really, really difficult. Yeah. So... The Argentinian finds himself two games behind again in this second set. Still some way to go, but... But, yeah, I would say a lot more encouraging signs his second set than the first. Yeah, well, definitely. He's hit, so he's hit a few good winners. And uh, I think if he can just keep Djokovic on the run, he stands a good chance. But it's just about you can't let the level drop. Yeah, great. And hitting balls inside the service line like that isn't the way to go because Djokovic gets into the into the court. He'll step in. He'll start just hit like there. Steps in. Oh, what oh, a winner for cross gosh. court from Djokovic! <laughs> so good. <laughs> There's literally nothing that you can do about that. Absolutely unplayable. It's just crazy. It's just it's just fight fire with fire. It's like you want to hit one back at me. I would take this one. You'll have it back again with interest and a short, a tighter angle. Mate, watching this, I would love to see a Djokovic Nadal final, though. Well, the way Nadal was playing yesterday, I think. And the Djokovic be... playing like this without even going out of first gear. Well, I be mean, epic. If, we, if they both improve consistently throughout this tournament, that would be ridiculous. Here we go. God, he's forcing Diego around that baseline. Oh, he's. 
Diego, very good length on his returns here. Yeah, yeah he's done well. Good shot. Keeping it deep. That's it's what you've got to do. It's a really good match. Good level. Djokovic. This, uh, maybe he just wants to get this done and dusted. Looks yeah, like he's he, up. He has upped it up a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he's upped it on the uh, Schwartzman serve a little bit. But yeah, not a very good backhand. <laughs> it always looks so annoyed with himself with any miss, doesn't he? Perfectionist, mate. Yeah, most definitely. Be interesting to see uh, how he gets on again at the Australian Open. Because well, he'll, be, he'll be a heavy favourite for it. That's his. That's his tournament. Don't forget. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's a great shot there. He's caught Schwartzman out there at the net in no man's land. And the half yeah. volley goes wide. And uh, here we go. One more point away from another break point. Oh, the Huskies have got loose. They just going to have to <laughs> go and round them up. Oh, sound like they're in the room with you. <laughs> here we go i oh, know oh good serve schwartzman don't get to say that too often do we yeah well he's good, he's good placement bad he's not been playing bad i think playing like this he's going to stand a semi chance against medvedev or swerov definitely but it's all dependent on how well they serve i think it is indeed Let's wait and see. It's 30 all. Still a huge point. Good. Oh, just out. Just I thought it look. was in. It's close. I think um, no, I thought it was in as well. It looked close. Oh, and he got a second serve to look at. Djokovic. Oh, good angles on these shots from Djokovic. In these sort of inside out back. Oh, that backhand down the line again really opens the court up. Now he's on the run. Djokovic into the net. Good volley. Schwartzman's into the oh, net. Oh, he, he had the idea right there. Unlucky. Poor execution. Yeah. And we've got another break point here for Novak Djokovic. Yeah, break point. Virtual to make match it... point to kind of end the match. <laughs> the, to go a double break. Oh, wow. This is, uh, I'm sure he wants this done and dust it as soon as possible. Give him the confidence to move Everyone on. Everyone in the chat singing, who let the dogs out? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> who? <laughs> Schwartzman, second serve. Djokovic, laser vision. Goes to the forehand side. They're playing it down the middle. Schwartzman oh, wide oh, and man. it's the break. And that's it, I feel. Game over. Well, the double break, and we're at 4-1. Uh, it's looking like it's, well, could it be a breadstick coming up, JG? I it'll probably be 6-2. I think Schwartzman can hold one more serve. Shrook saying this is the perfect match for Djokovic. Good warm-up. <laughs> warm-up for the yeah. uh, the big Six foot six, six foot six towers that are going to be a uh, bombing serve. Well, exactly. Down. It's going to be a complete different uh, proposition in the next few matches he's got. So I wouldn't say yeah. it's a good warm up in that regard, but it's good in the fact that he's been able to play arguably the weakest of the four first. Start off with a nice win. Yeah, yeah. I know. Schwartzman's got to be a little bit disappointed. I mean, what what did he reckon was going to happen though in this match? Yeah, really difficult for these players to know what tactics to use against these uh, bigger players. Do you just think you're going to lose and just think I'm going to go out there and just try and wallop the ball and just try and finish it and try and shorten all the rallies? Or do you just try and play long rallies and hope that their level drops and you just win by a default, really? <laughs> you could use the word default. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, in another type of the word default, not like the way that Karenio Busta beat Djokovic default star. Tony yeah. saying Diego needs some steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, come on, Diego's class. He's just uh, played someone who's a lot better than him. Yeah, for sure. Nothing he can really do. 
question is, if they were line judges, would Djokovic still be winning? <laughs> <laughs> Almino said he's off to bed he's seen enough and he's waiting he's going to be here later on hopefully all of you guys can join us for the evening session should be a lot well a lot closer match wow. we've got Medvedev Sverev 8 o'clock tonight yeah <laughs> Thomas Rock saying Diego Roidbridge maybe that's why he needs a bit of that on the court <laughs> needs to uh, get the uh, fire burning within here we go. Djokovic, 15, love. Oh, it's a great serve. Peter <laughs> hey, Raja saying, if your life depends on it, what would you guys choose? The Federal serve, the Nadal forehand, or the Djokovic return of serve? I reckon I would pick the Djokovic return of serve. Yeah, I think I would either that or the Nadal forehand. I quite uh, like that. that whipping forehand. It'd be pretty cool. Oh, what a forehand from Schwartzman there. Yeah, hey, maybe the Diego forehand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe get that one. I don't know. The return of Novak Djokovic is just... Well, if you've got that in your arsenal, you're always yeah. normally expected to win your sort of service games anyway. So if you can win the opponent's service game, that's sort of the key to winning tennis matches a lot of the time. So he's that's why he's able to be such a great champion. Oh god, that shot. That's so good. It's like effortless. I don't think he's actually broken sweat, which is a bit worrying. Yeah, it's no, not just too easy. Either that or they got the air con pretty high in there. They yeah, probably no, got to have see, no Novak's just going through a few paces, it's just like another training. Great man. serve, and there you go. I and with that on YouTube and have it as one of the Training hitting partners. Yeah. <laughs> business so end. Five one. Nah, there's no business end. The match is over. I didn't even get to start finish this one bottle of beer. You have to oh, chug it, mate. We get a super. Nah. Chat, Ben's gonna chug it live on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch me uh, spray it all over. Uh... I'll end up like Charlie on court. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's saying it's very cold in the arena, Ben. Yeah, it is actually cold. I remember that. Yeah, they got they probably got to keep it at a certain uh, temperature as well because it always affects which uh, which of their racket string uh, tensions that they use as well. Another thing that they were sort of complaining about when they're playing at Wimbledon, as soon as they close the roof, it changes. Like, all the players have to have different strength uh, racket tensions yeah. just because it completely changes the match. Which for me, if I turned up with my one racket, I don't think I'm have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're not there, Ben. Yeah. If I break a string, I have to default. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to bring one spare. I always have one spare. So I think my spare's a wooden one. <laughs> Here we go. Schwartzman, 15 all. Can he just keep this going a little bit longer? <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben will twerk on camera for the next match. <laughs> By the next match. Yeah, super chat. Ben's going to twerk while he's down in his Budweiser. <laughs> As if I'm going to do that. Come on. Wait, who's that, who's that admirer? You've got an admirer on there. Who? I saw him earlier. Yeah, NR, NR or something or no DM <laughs> DM <laughs> DM slide. to see that mate it's been sliding in our DMs I think. <laughs> gosh so I agree with Thomas Rock though. I do need to install a tap just on this desk so I can uh, just refill it this needs to be an endless uh, supply why don't we to be our own beer, mate? get our own brand of beer that'd be nice GTL lagers or game to lager. <laughs> oh, it's down the line from Diego. Ah, oh, oh, so too good. good from Djokovic. So, so good. On the run and just hits a winner effortlessly down the line. He just wants to get out of there right now. He wants to get out of the arena and hide somewhere. He wants the, the floor to open up and swallow him right now. <laughs> getting some interesting questions in the chat 
That's what happens when you watch these match. And there yeah. <laughs> Diego holds. Well done, Diego. Two on the board. Five on total. Eyes, oh, as you can just Maybe see, there. it's a straight sets loss. He's done better than he did against Medvedev and against Zverev. And Thomas, that's Rock, an... reminding us. DM also asked, What was the name of the podcast? <laughs> 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 well, that was another uh, one of my best questions we've ever received. I think that's a good one. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a better question. <laughs> <laughs> It was either that or what was the name of the channel. I just, uh, it's beyond me, these questions. Oh, well. At least we've got all of you loyal uh, supporters there in the chat who can sort out anybody uh, who joins. And you can always help everybody out. Yeah, I know that we've uh, got only about 60, 50 people for this one, probably during the daytime. Thanks to everybody who has joined us for this one. Yep. Uh, as short as it's been so far but uh if you haven't liked the video yet if all of you are in right now can hit the like button it'll really help us out and uh, yep. if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button yeah cheers guys we'll be back later on eight o'clock uh it's good to see more of us more people have joined the facebook community as well We've now you're using yeah. that page and that's up and running so yeah, if anyone wants to uh join the group or like it uh that'd be great i'll put the link yeah. in the chat. I obviously, I obviously always forget as well to promote the other platforms. We are actually on Spotify as well. If you uh, want to follow us on there or on Apple Podcasts or on CastBox as well. If yeah, you if you're up there looking at us, just listen. <laughs> I don't think that's any better though. <laughs> no, I actually, re I read a statistic that uh, on Spotify, 75% of our listeners are women. Really? Which is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah, because they can't bear to look at us. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't bear to look at us. Worse, they can just suffer us talking. And you'll be surprised to know that I think that majority of them are from the Philippines as well. So we got a big <laughs> following of uh, females from the Philippines, mate. Wow, interesting. We have to do a uh, GTL on tour. Go over there, mate, and. Uh, if there any matches in the Philippines, probably not. <laughs> oh, gosh. And here we are. Three match points for Novak Djokovic. Are we going to get a game to love to finish it off? Come on. Really? Give us the game to love. Oh. And DMs there, Ben, saying, why are people waiting <laughs> on me? <laughs> no, we no one is. Thanks we for love him. coming in every week. We oh, it's a double it. fault. He's denied us the game to love with a double fault. Why would you do it right then? No better time to double fault than on match point when you got three of them. Hey, and we've got a great super chat here from Saru. Hey, cheers, Saru. No twerks required. <laughs> we've well, got Thomas Rock there. Yeah, for sure. Thomas Rock. He's quite in the head. Oh, is that it? I think it was. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> over yet. Here we go. DM saying, yes, twerks are required. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The third match point for Novak Djokovic. Oh, he's got the return in. Djokovic into the Schwarzman forehand and the volley. And yeah. there it is. Game, set, match. Novak Djokovic breezes past Diego Schwarzman in impressive fashion. We're in 6 3, 6 2. This flag right here, this one. Yeah, very, very comfortable. Not much to say about the match aside from the fact that Novak's arrived. He's here. Yeah. He's here. Everyone ruling him out, basing him on the fact that he's got his um, beats, uh, what are they called? <laughs> his, um, his sliders on, on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> or flip-flops, that's what I was thinking of. This, <laughs> no, this... he's, he's arrived and he looks really good. He's going through his... <laughs> <laughs> Some would say it's cringy. Others love it. I don't know. That's what the commentators are saying. And he's still doing this celebration. <laughs> he's celebrating to empty, empty stands right now. Why not? If anyone can do it, Novak Djokovic can do it. And there you go. Just prove to everybody I wasn't uh, out of any of uh, this these tournaments. 
Maybe I just chose to lose once I got the number one spot. Maybe I'm now fully refreshed. Maybe I just needed a few extra days. Well, that's now, your winner, bet. You predicted him to go all the way and win the title. And on that showing, looks very good for it. Um, it does look good. Yeah, again, I think we're going to see what we always see, Ben. How many times are we always talk about all these other young players and how amazing they are? We're going to get, we're going to get a Rafael Nadal Djokovic final. We all know it. <laughs> you know, it was... it. no one probably did either. Everyone's got all different uh, opinions for maybe a team being in there, a Sverev or a Medvedev. Ultimately, it's probably going to be Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic for a millionth time. And is it true that we're probably going to be disappointed if it isn't? <laughs> this is the thing we want to see. We we get behind all of these next generation. I've been guilty of trying so hard to get behind them that it blinkers my vision on reality, yeah. which is real. We saw it last night. I was a bit blinkered, and I don't really take into account that the, these players are going to be nervous or they're going to. It's their big stage for them. I just think that they're in good form and I want them willing them to do well on the big level. And then you see what happens when you play the big three. Different, different standard, isn't it? Well, and Jack is fuming with us. Don't think Ben and JG will get any super chats from Jack's Lev. Well, we, we love Rub Lev as well. Rublev's had a fantastic year, but you've got to be honest, even the biggest fan of Rublev on this stage against all these top players. It's very difficult for him to compete right now. Maybe one day, but right now, I think he's uh, there's there's too much of a of a gap between the best and him. Yeah, exactly. And I think, uh, like Mellis is saying, uh, you better listen to yesterday after my interview with uh, Andre Rublev. <laughs> so you better go back and check that one out. But, yeah, we've got uh, Trump here as well. Trump and Mary saying, <laughs> "Easy job to Novak Djokovic. He certainly was. It was very easy, wasn't it?" Number one wins comfortably. I oh, know. Who was crazy enough to even hint at the idea of Diego coming through in three sets? I don't know what they what, what are they talking about. Yeah, I know. It's a bit. It's a bit crazy to think like that, really. Yeah, but anyway, I think we'll wrap it up there. I just want to thank all you guys for joining us today. I know it's in the middle of your day, um, so we appreciate you coming to watch with us. Uh, we enjoyed it. it was a good match. I know it was very one-sided, but I thought Diego wasn't too bad. It wasn't a real no. bloodbath. I know the scoreline looks like that, but <laughs> he tried his best. He tried his best. And um, Jackie, hopefully you can cheer up for the next one. We yeah. love Rob. Don't worry, it's okay. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah, well, uh, just make sure you join us for Medvedev versus Verev. That will be kicking off, obviously, 8 o'clock tonight. And uh, we'll be covering the whole of the match yeah please like the video subscribe if you're new around here and we'll see you later